Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Ah, oh, don't know if this camera still works, but it's good. Oh. It's been a good while. Well, Sean McCart. It's gathered a lot of dust. It's, it's, I can't even see my screen is covered in dust, but sure, it's good to see you, Sean, uh, face to face. Even though we are two meters apart, we're doing yeah. what we need to do and all this sort of stuff. But it's good to be at the gym. But you must be ecstatic to be in a boxing gym with bags and your coach Danny Vaughan and stuff like that after this lockdown. It's good to be back. Um, as much as I hate being in Holy Town, I told you before, it is actually good to be back. And uh, the old saying goes, you don't realise what you have until it's gone. And in lockdown, you have to sort of try and make up your own small gym at the back. I was using water containers for weights and stuff like that. So it's, it was a lot different, but I'm, I'm glad to be back here with the lads. And like we say, we have a big outdoor shadow up here as well. And, and it's powerful equipment. So. Just good to be back and straight back into a good routine. Do you feel like you're back in, like you've never left in terms of your boxing? Because I know sometimes when fighters have been out, especially the lockdown, I know you had a bag in your back garden and you said you always yeah. walking in containers of weights. <coughs> but have you, have you, I've seen you on the pads with Danny as well, it looks like you've not lost a step. Do you feel like you're, you're, you're where you need to be at this time? Oh, I, th I feel, and do you know what? I, f I was talking to Mick Hanlon, um yesterday. And he sort of, I was telling him that I think, in a way, that lockdown was good for a lot of fighters. It could, we never get a big enough break between fights, and you're able to get everything out of your system. Mm -hmm. You're able to eat all the The first two, three weeks of lockdown, I was able to have a drink, spend time with family, spend time with girlfriends, spend time with my mates. And I know we weren't a gar all the time, but I mean, just, just eating at home, just in your own comfort, getting to eat what you want and enjoy that life of being completely off and it's it, it was coming back to camp makes it easier because I've got it all out of my system and uh, Mick sort of felt the same he was saying so the first three weeks was tough but I was able to, to like the last four or five weeks I stopped drinking and stopped eating shit just back eating on the diet and uh, back training and I feel like I've come back here now with everything out of my system. I've got to enjoy myself, I've got to enjoy my food, I've got to enjoy my drink. And uh, I've come back to camp fully focused and ready and ready to go. And the, f the last four weeks of training at home have paid off because, as you've probably as you, as you've seen on the pads, I'm very sharp and very fit. And Danny was very happy where, where I'm at coming back to camp. That's good if Danny's happy when you come back to camp. But I guess, uh, I guess most coaches now, when fighters are starting to trickle into the gyms and come back to camp and stuff, I bet you most coaches are like, oh no. What's their weight going to be like? Because exactly. I know they, they've been like, there's been talk. I know MTK are going to look at the put the shows on in, in July. So can I put two and two together and say the reason you're back in camp is because you might have a fight lined up in a six seven weeks time? Well, if I'm back in camp and I'm training, then there's no reason not to put me in because I haven't heard that I'm, you're you're fighting on this date or you're fighting such and such. There's no name and there's no date and there's no place. It's just if I go back to camp. I'm going to be at least thought of to be fighting in July, so if there is fighting in July, I definitely want to be part of it. And from before my last show was cancelled, it was due to Helen in Belfast against Craig Evans, good 50-50 fight, because there's no, um, there's no uh, spectators allowed in, it's behind closed doors, these shows we're talking about in July, August. Broadcasters only want to see 50-50 fights and there's a 50-50 fight already made before me and Craig Evans so I'm just hoping that if I keep training and hopefully Craig's training then MTK you don't even have to make the fight, it's been made already before. It's just a matter of agreeing on the date and time and, I, and I'm, I'm ready. Like. like you said, it's a good 50-50 fight between you and Craig as well but before this lockdown, Sean, you were on a trajectory in terms of your, from this, your pro debut in 2018 August fighting better and better and better and better and better opposition yeah. every so on. Are you just want to continue that from now on? You don't want any no. step down. You want to continue going up and up and no, up. There's no time to step back and take an easy fight or fight someone to get the rounds in. You, you get your rounds in sparring. Um, you get your rust off sparring and you, I just want to keep progressing in the right direction. It's a short career. Anyone who doesn't want to progress or wants a warm-up fight is full of shit. I mean, do you really? like? What like a warm-up fight doesn't make you any better. It really doesn't. Sparring makes you better. Like trying to improve every day on different things. You learn from your sparring what you've done right, what you've done wrong, and and that progresses you in the right direction. So warm-up fights are a little shit. Mm. So like I said, I, I, 
I was doing a, a fight video for you against Godoy, I created a video and stuff like that. I went back to the old interviews, edited them in and added them in and stuff like that. Yeah. I can remember the saying that for me to describe some Sean McCormick someday is I don't give a fuck attitude. Now it's not I don't give a fuck attitude in terms of I don't care, I'm just gonna plod about my day and ah. stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm a fight to fight. I don't give a fuck. I will fight anybody's type attitude. Yeah, and that's well. sort of like what you're hoping for. So, in your mindset, are you focusing on Craig Evans and hoping that that fight's going to be made? And is that sort of your mindset going into this time, sort of like fighting a big name like Craig? Yeah. Um. I've, I've, I was mid. I was midway through my last camp before I was told that the fight had been cancelled due to COVID-19. Um. I was in Manchester, sparring with top sparring with. Um, Jack, Jack Carroll and we couldn't ask for a better sparring southpaw so I've had my head wrapped around that state already that southpaw boxer the big name and, and a domestic fight usually high pressure of media and stuff so psychologically I'm ready and then defeat an opponent like Craig Evans and if MTK can make that still go ahead then I'm happy this because psychologically I'm still ready to go ahead right? you saw, you've only been in camp about what a week and a half you've already upped your training, I mean you climbed the biggest mountain in, ben Nevis. in the, on this sort of like Great Britain and Ireland, you, you climbed Ben Nevis yesterday, yeah. I mean how was it, how was the legs? Heavy, I'm walking <laughs> about like the Tim Man from Wizard of Oz, <laughs> need a bottle of WD-40, this squeaky, seized squeaky. up, no, eater, eater. <laughs> uh, but yeah it was tough, um, <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful place like, um, that whole side of Scotland is just phenomenal, beautiful and uh, never knew it existed and we were very fortunate to get the weather the clear day the really good sunny day and we got to the top it was clear the view was brilliant the weather was brilliant and and then a, a rescue helicopter appears within 100 meters of us and it's just hovering around us and we're like whoa so we met some guy up there who does it all the time he says he, he's probably done it about 20 times but obviously he lives close by and he says that you are very very lucky to have got all this this view first of all but then the, the rescue helicopter only comes out a couple of times a year and we got to see it got to see it first hand so we're very lucky like, what was it like seeing snow in june powerful <laughs> so I had a snowball fight at the top <laughs> it's crazy isn't it it's mad but it's crazy because it's warm like temperature at the top was very warm I'm burnt and uh, there's still snow laying on the ground it's like it's too warm for snow to be laying there but it's that thick well, it's really really, really thick at yeah. night time it must, yeah, it must freeze over so it's crazy but, uh, obviously with, with everything that's going on in the short I think you mentioned the 50-50 fights just going back to boxing quickly there 50-50 fights I think it's emphasis now that for all fighters we're going to see 50-50 fights and for, as boxing fans as me as a boxing fan I think it's good for boxing in terms of we're going to see now, yeah. more bang for a buck, so to speak, and stuff like that. So, if you can't get Craig Evans, do you have any other options in your, in your mind on who you want to face? Like, if there's no one there, at lightweight, I'm looking to gradually progress down lightweight. This is just between lightweight and super lightweight, so we're going to win 137, 138. So, it's, it's no, there's no tight on the line, there's no reason to make championship weight, which is 135. So, anyone in a runner, I'm happy to fight. Like, it doesn't matter. I'll go back up to 140. If I have to, if I have to have a one, like a 50-50 fight at 140, I will. There's people there. I mean, it's a big division. It's a stacked division with good fighters. Um, and the same with lightweight. Lightweight's a bit. I think lightweight's a bit different because you've. There, I believe there's different levels. Like it, obviously you have Luke Campbell and stuff falling around the top two, one, two, three, four of UK rankings. And then from there, like James Tennis, and they're all pushing on their world level, elite level. They've all fought for world titles and stuff, so they're not going to fight 50 50 domestic fights unless it's against someone within the top three amongst each other. And then from there, then you have Craig Evans, six, and then the other people in around seven, eight. And they won in the top ten, really. Like, I'm happy to fight, but I'm sure for them, and the likes of Luke Campbell and stuff will be a big step down for them. As a boxing fan for you, though, Sean. What 50 50 fights would you like to see? Not just in the UK, maybe the US side and stuff like that. Have you, have you thought of There's loads, like, like um, there's loads, especially states, eh? Like, if you're looking in, at lightweight in the world, you have the top four mm -hmm. fight each other, would, would, would be phenomenal, like, because. Yeah, Lopez, Lomachenko. Lopez, Lomachenko, or three off the top of your head. You can have Javante Davis coming in and around her. Back up there, you seen Shakur Stevenson last week. It was class as well. So, there's, there's big names there, like, in the states, and. 
I mean, seen Davis could fight Stevenson, like Shakur Stevenson, uh, a couple of couple of months from now. Like. Um, just depends what way. I, I in a way, it could be a blessing for boxing, so they all have to fight each other or vacate and whatever they want to do. But if you want to fight, you have to fight the best. Simple as that. Definitely, I totally agree with that. Finally, before that, you go on because I know. Your legs are stiff, like you said, you're like walking like a tin man, but you're going to do a training session anyway, so yeah. I'm going to stick around and everybody watch and watch you suffer. But Joshua and Tyson Fury, they've sort of like agreed, yeah. sort of like a two fight deal. I don't know if this contract, I don't think this contract signed or anything like that, but a two fight deal in 2021. I mean, how do you see that fight? What's your thoughts on it? It's exciting, it's very exciting. It's probably the biggest fight ever in heavyweight history, ever. Um, and that's including Ali. You know, Wally and all, all the fights he's had. Um, simply because both UK based, both massive, uh, massive fighters worldwide, um, super fight, and I think, I think, I think Fury could knock him out. You know, because Josh was shown before that he's tinny. He's also shown that he can recover from being hurt and hurt you. Um, but I think Fury's last fight against Wilder has just shown a whole different side to him that he can go forward, he can fight with you, he can fight the big punchers, he can he can break it down with his upper body movement and his feints and sort of keep you on edge and, and, and get his own shots off. I think if he takes that approach in the, in the fight with Joshua, he, he knocks him out. There you go, see that's the sort of stuff I need from my This mom, is it. There you go. Have you got anything you'd like to add, Sean? You looking forward to this uh, training session? Just looking forward to looking forward to hearing some news about fighting again. Um, it's not. I'm still motivated to train, but once you know for sure exactly when you're fighting and what your target is, you're. It's it's a different level altogether. You're not all down in your way. To, with, obviously, we're COVID-19. There's not much people we can get in sparring and stuff. So we'll, me and Sam are very fortunate. We can spar amongst each other and mm. and work with each other. Um, if needs be, I, uh, if needs be, Sam will turn turn surf off me, and I can turn off that for him, and we can work on things together. I mean, this is this is what we're here for. We're a team, and and we're here to help each other push on. Well, so you mentioned that we're a team. Should we plug this hat? Should we plug this something? The Public Nations available. Where, where can we get them? My fa my snap, uh, Instagram. Sorry, link in my bio. The Public Nations bang bang, great chip. <laughs> Thanks very much, Sean. No worries, cheers.